Hi, welcome to Dreamweaver tutorial. Today, I would like to show you new Dreamweaver CC user interface. New Dreamweaver CC 2014, the workspace has been changed. Now you have three choice and you even can choose the workspace before you open a new document. The first one is code and the second one is design and the third one is extract. Extract is new. How do you use extract? You bring a Photoshop file into your Dreamweaver and extract the style into CSS. For this tutorial, we're going to use the design. Design workspace is very similar to CSS6 classic workspace. On welcome panel, you will see a three quick access icon here. So first one, you can set up your site, which I had done already. So I'm going to cancel it. And the second one and third one take you a same new document panel. See, this is new document panel. When you go to file note, it's the same document panel. This is quick access. And the third one start the template. Very good template for responsive starter. It's quite different from this old template here, two column, three column fixed. So this is much better, more modern look. The first three template using a media query, just using a media. The fourth one, email, is using table specific for email blast. Last one is portfolio using a full grid. So I'm going to use a blog post for this demonstration. Create and just save. I'm going to save my HTML index. Save. Copy. OK, so right now we have a template in place, so make it easier to explain the user interface. First of all, let's take a look at the document panel. Document panel, by default right now, is live view. And if you want a design view, you can change the design view. Dash line here then tells you layout being set. OK, so let's go back to live view. You can turn on an inspect mode and just show you you have a margin padding and also when you roll over, you see your code view change too, so you know where it is. Here, this is live view code, and you will see this is two arrow gray out because you don't have anything selected. Two arrow just allow you to go back previous step. Like for instance, if I double click here, you see I can go back to previous one. And refresh button, always refresh when you do something because sometimes it looks like it doesn't work but actually you just need to refresh. Here you will see and show you where is your file located. On the drop down menu also show you a couple of previous files and here is preview from browser and this is live view options and this is upload your file to the remote server. So on the bottom your right hand side you will see there's a three icon here. This is your responsive view, which is responsive to the device. If you click on desktop, you'll become desktop view, which is being wider, tablet, and mobile. If people access your site from the mobile phone, they will see this layout, and tablet with this layout, and desktop will be this layout. This template, by default, is on your desktop. So when you kind of click on global, you see your desktop here. And then the screen and maximum width is 769. This is your tablet. And when you click on the screen with maximum is 480, that is your mobile. This responsive and media was set up at a blog post style.css. If you click on it, you will see the setup here. Look at the code, scroll down tablet and mobile. So on the design view, when you click on anywhere, it will show you where the selector is. And you can click on this plus sign to add a class or add a ID here. Also, when you have an image here, you will see the menu here. You can click on it. You can set up your source and title. So by double click on the elements, you can change the contest inside. As soon as you highlight it, give you three quick options for styling. You can add a strong italic or you can add link. Enter a fake link here, pound sign, and deselect, and you will see a link. So let's take a look at the bottom of your left-hand side. 
you see the angle bracket here and with a slash in there so this is your document root when you click on that you will see where you are now I just make a link here by right click you will see you can duplicate so you will see the duplicate one more any elements here you can duplicate from here like for instance the edge one here I want to duplicate here we go you once you have a set up a section you want an entire section to repeat again you can just duplicate so you also can delete it save you a lot of times so use the document title is here right now have been moved to here is on the property panels next I will show you how to use extract workspace so when you select extract here you see this extract panel and all the icon become uh, minimized and here you can upload a file to your cloud just click on here plus sign and just select a file you start to see you see uploading right now so one is finished uploading you will see if you want to delete it you have to go to your cloud and access and open folder and just delete it ideally you want to create a Photoshop with a full layout designed but sometimes you can just using a quick style that you want to use very often create a quick list like this one that I got here so I'm going to open this one and I'm going to use my story style here when you roll over and click on it you have a three options here uh, the first one is copy CSS so I'm going to use this one and there's a couple options you can check on check but now I'm going to leave it as a default and then copy and go back to my uh, design view here so I'm going to use this style for my post title and once my title selected I'm going to go to my CSS design panel this is the latest uh, CSS style right click paste the style you see immediately take this style into my post title I also can copy text here and double click and highlight it and paste it will be my story I really like this shadow box for my image I can just copy the CSS highlight this one and again go to your CSS designer panel and just paste so you see immediately take that and I also like this picture I can extract this picture to into my folder so here you can rename it and then you also can scale it if you don't feel this is very small so I have a thousand pixel here I might have to do it like three times bigger here you can select pink file or JPEG just use JPEG and save okay go to my file panel you see the file here and in this point because how to see I'm going to minimize on the darker gray here double click so you can minimize extract now you can see better I'm just gonna click on a mini menu here and just select the one that I just made here click OK I can double click on the dark gray here again to open up again see okay this is a quick tour of our tutorial see you next time bye